Hey y'all, welcome to Faithfully Bound. I am so glad that you're here. In this video, I want to continue my prayer Bible journey with you. I am tabbing specific verses that go with specific themes. And when I go to those verses, I am highlighting them. And then I am tabbing that page. I have a key in the front of the Bible to tell me which theme goes with which color tabs so that I can keep track. And while I'm highlighting, I am trying to keep in sync with the color tabs that matches the highlighters that I'm using so that when I flip there, I can find the specific verse because sometimes there is more than one theme and more than one verse on a certain page. So if I make it match that particular tab, then I know which verse I'm looking for on that page. I hope that makes sense. I plan to use this Bible out in public. Um, I'm calling it my outreach prayer Bible, and I need to be able to draw my eye quickly to the verse because sometimes when you're out in public talking about the Lord, they might have a specific question or they might try to challenge you in some way. So I want to be able to flip to it and find that verse. So I'll flip to the tab that matches what they're asking about or what they are challenging. And then it'll draw my eye to the verse because it is the same color as the tab. I pulled out my tablet so that I could look up verses. I was using the back of the larger Bible to go with topical coordinates, but I decided I wanted to kind of broaden the verses that I was looking at. So I pulled several up online and I went with that, matching the tabs to the verses, to the themes. And I think it worked better that way than just what is in the back of the Bible. And if I need to reference the back of the Bible, or if they ask me something that I have not tabbed, I can flip to the back, see if I can find it, and there's always my phone. So if I'm stumped or I don't have that particular thing they're asking me tabbed, I can pull up my phone because that's also quick. But I really wanted to be able to hold the Bible in my hand so that they can see that I'm reading it and that it is actually in the Bible and that I'm not just pulling it from who knows where on the internet so that I can show them the verse in the Bible. This did take some time. So if you're going to start one of these, keep in mind that it is a tedious process and it takes time. This is not something you're going to get done very quickly. And if you're like me, you can't sit there for very long. So I did do this over several days. Now you can see that I'm smearing this with my finger the Mr. Pen gel highlighters go on a little thick sometimes. So I like to just rub it around with my finger and make one solid color block. And I think it looks better that way. On this day, I pulled out my laptop so that I can search even further and scour the internet just a little bit better to find particular verses that go with these themes that I am putting in this Bible. Doing this project took on a mind of its own. When I started this, I had an idea of what it was going to be, what it was going to look like. And while I was doing it, it changed. I was led to do it a different way. So it really did become an outreach Bible. And that is something that I have always had a hard time with is going out and talking to people face to face about Jesus. People that I don't know. People I've never met in my life. People at gas stations, people in the grocery stores, just, you know, out anywhere at the park. I just freeze and I can't do it. I can't even make myself get up and walk over there. So that I did this is crazy. And that I'm going to utilize this 
is crazy because this is not like me. Even my sister-in-law made a comment that she was proud of me for doing this because she knows that I have a hard time. And I was like, yeah, it's crazy. I don't even know. Like, I wasn't thinking it is just something that happened. And now that I've made this, I am less apprehensive about thinking about doing the outreach, going out and reaching the people and trying to bring them into the fold. It doesn't scare me. Isn't that crazy? Making this and concentrating, pulling up the different verses, just the whole process made it so that I'm not scared anymore. I hope that y'all stay with me so that I can tell you how it goes when I use this. I am not finished yet, but I wanted to go ahead and give you a quick look at everything I've got done so far. It is tabbed out. It's very colorful. Hopefully when I'm finished with this, it will be visually attractive enough that if I am walking down the street holding this, someone might ask me about it. So I am thinking of all kinds of ways that I can attract attention to the Bible and attract attention to me personally so that I can talk to people if they approach me because sometimes I have a hard time approaching people. So through this outreach Bible, I am, I'm just excited y'all. And that is just so like different for me to be excited about going out into the world and talking to strangers. I hope that you stay with me so that we can finish this together. I'm really excited about it. And I know that even when I think I'm finished, it's not going to be finished because being out, talking to people, asking them, like, what are you dealing with in your life right now? I know there's going to be more themes and more verses that I need to look up and put in here. And if y'all can think of anything, please let me know in the comments because I want to be able to help as much as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I hope to see you next time. Bye y'all.